What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we are talking about something from a company called Skill. And I like to say it's not your mama's skill. Why do I say it's not your mama's skill, Eric? Because the new company owns them and it's not like the old stuff they had. Right. A new company owns them, you guys. The company that owns Ego, you know, that huge outdoor power equipment hit. I mean, Ego, honestly, for me, it was going to go down in the history books for bringing outdoor power equipment electric. Because there was outdoor electric outdoor power equipment before Ego, but it all sucked. It was a novelty item back then, you know? Yeah. And then when Ego came out in 2014, they changed it. Yeah, even, I mean, even before Ego, remember, you'd had the plug-in blowers and they sucked. Oh, yeah. And you're running off of unlimited, you know, 120 volt power. Yeah, but you'd always get stuck or it'd always come apart. And then you, the only thing that you had were these junky platforms before. And, right. and it wouldn't just, it was, it was a joke. Yeah. So Ego, you guys, and now even better, they're available at Lowe's. So all Ego Power Plus equipment is available at your local Lowe's. Lowe's is one of the biggest uh, power equipment retailers in the world, if not the biggest, right? I, for OPE, I think it is the biggest. Yeah, I think it is, I think the, it biggest. is the biggest. So, I mean, honestly, it's, it's, a, it's a force to be reckoned with. So, Skill, they basically purchased Skill from Bosch, right? Yes. Um, not that Bosch didn't do anything with it, but it was just, you know, it was just a brand that was there, right? It was just, it was a DIY brand, but it just wasn't innovative like the other brands we're seeing, like Ryobi, like, uh, who else did you say, Rigid? I didn't say anybody yet. Oh. Oh, well, you did. <laughs> okay. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, that, there's that sweet spot homeowner brand, um, home prosumer slot, you know, the guys that might be advanced DIYers. You're saying for skill, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it goes up against Roy Royalty, Craftsman, stuff like that. Right, but you know, three, four years ago, they couldn't even compete because Royalty no. was growing so fast. Yes. Now we have Siobhan, who owns Ego, who bought the brand, who now is injecting that innovation into these With tools. With power into core. These, yeah. yeah, power core technology, yes. guys. And I mean, honestly, I believe, and this is, you know, Completely on me. I believe that they wrote the book on uh, battery technology. I think they did an awesome job with this. We had awesome a chance job. to see it firsthand. And when you, a battery is not a battery. And I've always kind of assumed that that's, you know, there's a little bit of changes, a little bit of things. But like you said, how they pod the stuff, what they do, how they actually design the batteries so all the cells have uh, kind of almost on the outside so none of them get too hot. Yeah, you know. No, I get, I agree, dude. So. We went out there. We, in fact, I don't know if you went out. Me and Stanley went out there, and it was just amazing the stuff they showed. And you know that that does they do take that technology and put it towards skill also, right? Mm -hmm. In the battery. Obviously, this is not a battery powered unit. This is a plug in unit. But we're seeing a lot of good innovations that we're seeing in today's modern table saws with this saw. Uh, features like what? Yeah. So, like I said, it is a plug-in version. What I, there's a lot to love about the saw, honestly. And like I said, it goes against kind of, you're kind of, don't get this confused with skill saw. They got a table saw. They're two totally different ones. This is really more geared towards the homeowner. It's geared towards, like, if you got Craftsman, Royobi, stuff like that. But this has some professional features, which I absolutely love. First of all, it's got the 15 amp motor, which means it's powerful, which means you can go through hardwood, softwood, you can do all sorts of different things. Absolutely love it. It's got a, the capacity to run through a four by four at a 90 degree angle, which is awesome. The two other, well, there's the three main things I love about it, being besides that, is the stand. The stand is integrated. So no more like- um, But what if you got an uneven ground? It's got, it's on one of the legs, you can adjust it. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, so an nice. adjustable stand. Yep. I love that. And two of the things that I think that you see on professional is first the rack of pinion for the fence, which we've always talked Amazing. to. We've always talked about Always about talk up to Walt yeah. how I love the rack of pinion. Now we're it's seeing smooth. it. It's smooth. Homeowner. And a homeowner one, yes. The other thing that I absolutely, absolutely love, which I don't see on any of the homeowner ones, is the fence. The fence locks down on the front and the back. Most of the time on a homeowner brand, they only lock down on the front or they've got like a rod that goes through and locks down on the back in essence. But what happens is once you start pushing or doing something, the back usually flexes, so you don't get a true cut. This one is just, it locks down, it stays tight. It does not. There's no flex in it. 
Right. Which is huge. So, you know, I mean, honestly, table saws are not a cheap tool, right? They're mm -hmm. not inexpensive, no matter what brand you go with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, and when you're doing something with a table saw, usually you're doing something that needs to have accurate cuts. That's why you're using a table saw, not a circular saw, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So, um, to see that accuracy would be two handles on here. Yeah, I love the professional cut. features on a homeowner brand, and that's what sells me on it right yep. there. And you guys, again, it's not skill saw. Remember, there's skill there's two, yeah. and there's skill saw. Still owned by the same parent company, just two completely different ones directed just for the pros. professionals. The other one's more for the homeowner. Homeowner, prosumer, you know yes. what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you're, I mean, you could build a house with this. But yeah, you'd need some hammers and other tools, but sure, you could. Oh, you would? I, th I think, oh, I man, think, I'm not that sure. That would make a good YouTube video. We built a house with just a skill saw with no hammers, nothing else. Can you imagine trying to hammer with this thing? Well, you wouldn't need to. Well, how are you going to get the wood attached? Uh, you just hit some kind of cut. Yeah. You know? Yeah, okay. I don't know. All right. There we go. That's, that's next week we're going to do that on Tools in Action. But I don't, what do you think? What do you think from using this thing? You know, because when you were cutting on it, you were kind of excited. You liked it. You yeah, liked the no, power, I thought it was smooth, thoughts? man. It's smooth. It works good. Again, I'm not a table saw, circular saw kind of guy. I try to avoid those tools at all costs just because, you know, they're um, dangerous. Mm -hmm. But, you know, from what I did use on it, yes, it was good, it worked well. I thought it was a great, it was a great machine, you know? If I, if I needed a table saw, yes, I would definitely 100% look into this table saw because I like the features of that rack and pinion. I like the features of the stand with the adjustable leg. Um, it even has like a, a deflector here that you can put on so you can throw your stuff off to the side, you know? Yep. Yeah, and for two price point of two ninety nine, it's hard to beat that with two ninety nine and a stand. Cause usually you just get the saw and you gotta buy a stand separately. Yeah, and I, I like the accuracy, right? That's what it's all about, accuracy. Honestly, I mean, this thing to me, it looks pretty close to the wall, man. You know, right? right? I mean, you know, I'm feeling like up here. Even this is metal. This is metal. Mm -hmm. Usually that's plastic. Yeah, no. You know, I mean, it's got a really nice. It feels like aluminum up here. Aluminum. Um, I don't know, man. Pretty, pretty good. Let's go. Let's go show these guys a little bit more of it, and we'll use it, and we'll wrap it up. But so let's yeah, do it. Overall, and then you got these. Is this thing hard to get on? Nope. Very easy to get on. I right, put it on. Oh, here, right here. Wow, Eric. You what? You see how easy that was to get on? How many times do you have to mess with those things to put them on? Uh, a lot. And then to pull it off, how would you pull it off? Oh my gosh, dude. That honestly. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. These guards are the biggest pain in the butt. Look how easy that guard was to put on. That's insane. I like how the push sticks on the front. You can grab it right yes, there. Yes, that's huge. I love you know? having that on the front. What do they call that, Paul? What do they call those Pauls? I don't know what they actually call them. Power of term for it. Let's go check it out. Let's go work it. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.